Hey guys, this is just going to be a really, really quick video. Um, I just got my Quilts for Kids kit in the mail, and <clears throat> so I wanted to share it with you guys um, because I don't think a lot of people know about Quilts for Kids, so I encourage you guys to go to quiltsforkids.org, and I'll put all the information below. But basically what it is, um, it's where people make these quilts for kids in children's hospitals and um, quilts for kids you send your quilt to them and they send it to a child in a children's hospital that needs a quilt um, it's a great way to uh, you know give something you know donate your time um, and if you don't have a lot of money this is a great option for um, making some sort of donation that has a positive impact um, so Quilts for Kids, um, great, awesome stuff they're doing. Go to their website, quiltsforkids.org, and request a free kit. In the free kit, what you get is um, you get your instructions, and it shows you how to cut all the strips um, and how to assemble them. So all your instructions are in here. And what's really cool is you send back this slip, um, this instruction sheet, and they send it along with another kit. So everything's being reused and recycled. So um, I think that's really cool. And you can tell I just got mine today. It looks like it's been around the block a couple times. And that's good. That means a lot of people have had this slip and made a quilt for a kid. You also get this packing slip. Um, and it even says on here that you must return this slip with your quilt so that they can, um, put it in the database that says, yes, you completed a quilt. You, um, made a quilt for a kid, and that's really cool. In the kit, you'll also get your, um, fabric. Now, these are mostly pre-cuts. Um, and then it also says, I like here, um, it says, for every kit we send out, please consider including one or more of your own creations so we can double or triple uh, the amount of children we wrap a quilt around. How cool is that? So in your kit, you'll get this little label, and you'll sew this onto the back of your quilt when you're done. And it says, do you like your quilt? Tell us your story at myquilt at quiltsforkids.org. And then it says, made with love by, and then you get a permanent fabric marker. And you write your name in that little space. And then it has care instructions and says quilts for kids here on the side. So this is the label that you'll put on your finished quilt. You also get your border pieces so and on my quilt this is the border and then this is the inner border and it's all random you don't select the fabrics it's just you know they send you all the fabric that you need so here's my little my inner border and my outer border really pretty pretty colors I really like it then you'll get these strips, uh, you get four of these, and what you do is I'll take my four strips, and I'll, I'll just keep chain piecing them together to make strip sets, and your first strip set will look like this, so you'll make strip sets of four fabrics. And then you'll cut them into squares, and then you'll lay them out like this. Um, and this one's called a scrappy rail fence, which is really cool. So here's the four fabrics that I got. I got this pretty green one. This cute, like, pinkish red with some gold circles on it. It's really pretty. I get a blue one, and the blue one is the same pattern as the green one. And then 
this fabric, which is the same as my large border. Um, that's like a floral print. It's really cool. And then finally, you'll get your backing fabric. So you even get the backing. And in my case, it's just a really nice, pretty green backing fabric. Um, and so the only thing that I have to provide is my time, my craftsmanship, <laughs> and batting. And they suggest to go no thicker than a quarter inch. You want a low loft batting. Um, they suggest that you do not hand quilt your quilts for kid quilts because um, you need to machine quilt them because they're going to be subjected to a lot of uh, machine washings um, <clears throat> in the hospital. And hospital washings are obviously a little bit more thorough than your at-home washing machine. So they do ask that you machine quilt it. <clears throat> so whether you send it off to a long armor or you just do it on your home sewing machine stitch in the ditch type deal you want a lot of quilting so that it can withstand all of the washes that it's going to go through at the hospital so once you've done all that and you've uh, you've subcut your strip sets into 30 units so you'll have you'll end up with 30 squares that are six and a half by six and a half you'll create your rows um, and it looks like, yeah, the, they're five blocks wide. Um, then you'll attach your border, um, using the diagram below. You'll wash and dry the completed quilt, and you'll ship it back, um, with both of these sheets of paper. They also ask that you send back the zip, Ziploc bag so that they can package someone else's quilt kit. And um, then you send your quilt to them, and they send it to a kid in a, in a hospital that needs a comfy quilt to help comfort them and something that they can keep for years and years to come after they get better. It'll be a reminder. Um, and it's just it's really a really nice thing to do. So even if you've never made a quilt before, I encourage you to go to Quilts for Kids and request your free kit. Um, they ask that you complete the quilt within four to six weeks, which, given the size and the simplicity of this particular quilt design, it shouldn't take more than that four to six weeks. So just think of it this way. The sooner you get it done, the sooner they can uh, wrap a sick child in it and make them feel just a little bit better. Um, what else was I going to say about quilts for kids? Uh, so the only thing that you have to pay for is the shipping of it back to them and the batting. They've had volunteers cut all this fabric for you to the measurements that are already needed. So they're already pre-cut strips. The only thing that you have to do is remember to sew them together with quarter inch seams. That way the sizes come out right. Uh, other than that, it's pretty straightforward. It's a strip set quilt. So, um, if you've never quilted before and you think this would be a great way for me to try a quilt and then donate it when I'm done, that would be sweet. Um, just go online and search fence rail patterns and, um, you can probably find a ton of videos here on YouTube even. Um, showing how people do fence rail quilts so that you can see how easy it is because I would hate for you to request this kit and be frustrated by it and not finish it because you know that's fabric that they could have sent to someone else who could finish it do you know what I'm saying so um, definitely don't commit to it if you're not going to finish it but um, I've got a bunch of sewing projects going on at once right now and I think that's a great thing to do because the quilt that I'm working on for me and my husband, it's a king size quilt. It's going to take me a long time to finish it. So what I like to do is throw in little projects um, so that I can take a break from our big quilt. Um, and it kind of helps break up the monotony of <laughs> sewing the same pieces together and, you know, the whole repetition of it. So get your quilts for kids kit. 
again, I will put all the information that you guys need down below. And um, if you guys would like to see me post videos of the process of putting this together, I can certainly do that. Um, I don't know if it'll be a complete tutorial or if I'll just say, hey guys, this is what I have done so far and things like that. Um, but yeah, I hope that when I finish this quilt, um, some kid will get it and be really appreciative of it. I'm sure they will be though. And, uh, yeah, and you know what? Since you put your name on the quilt, I bet. You might get a response from the person that you made the quilt for, and I think that would be really, really cool. I know if my daughter was sick in a hospital, that something like that would be really touching, and uh, I can't wait to wrap a kid up in a quilt that I've made. So, uh, quiltsforkids.org, um, check them out. If you have a sewing machine and any sewing skills whatsoever, give it a try. Um... I think it would be a great idea. If you're a member of a quilting club, a quilting circle, something like that, um, this would be a great project for you guys to get involved with. And then everyone from the quilting club can donate a quilt. And they even say that you can you can include extra quilts. Just follow the measurements and pattern in here with your own fabrics and send them more than one quilt. So do it. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and visit quiltsforkids.org and make a kid a quilt. Alright guys, bye.